So, I just watched the Netflix movie The Bubble, um, which uh, just came out on April 1st. And uh, initially, I actually thought it, it, it was an April Fool's joke, uh, because I actually, um, at, at the beginning of March, I actually saw the, the trailer, the, the initial trailer. And the initial trailer uh, wasn't actually about the real movie, but but was was about the movie in the movie. Um, so it, it was um, what's it called? It was about um, those uh, dinosaurs, you know. So I thought, you know, what's this? A dinosaur movie? Uh, and, and then you know, it, it, it looked stupid, and I, I didn't. I didn't get it, <laughs> and uh, uh, and then but then then I saw uh, the release date, and you know it said you know April first. Uh, I realized okay, well this is an April Fool's joke, right? So I, I just simply assumed that the whole movie was a joke and that that the movie didn't actually exist. Um, but uh, yeah, then of course they released the the real trailer and 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 the real movie. And uh, so, yeah, so now I'm thinking um, that actually what this was about was to tell people in a, in a subtitle way that, um, that this movie is not what it seems to be at first, right? So the, the movie is real, but it's not what it seems to be. And, and that holds true for the actual movie. And uh, and I think a lot of people don't really understand that. So they they give it bad ratings. Uh, but but I, I really liked it. And and the reason I really liked it is precisely because uh, I, I feel that there is, uh, there is some deeper meaning in there, you know. I mean, yeah, of course, it's a satire. So, you know, it's... It's still comedy, you know, and it's a parody. Well, maybe not a parody, but it's sa it is satire. So yeah, so of course nothing nothing life changing, but it is a good satire if you if you understand what it's satirizing. And I feel a lot of people um, don't really understand that. I mean, obviously it's uh, uh, you know it's about the pandemic. Um, I mean, that much is obvious, but still, a lot of people uh, think that um, it's it's a satire of the movie industry, and that's where I disagree. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, James Franco. I mean, not not the person, the, the movies he made. Um, and, um, you know, I, I talked a, a, a lot about uh, uh, some of his movies in the past. And, um, and, uh, and, and actually, this movie reminded me of some of his movies. And actually, that's intentional because uh, uh, The Bubble actually references a lot of James Franco movies as well. So, so that similarity isn't, isn't just something I perceived. That similarity is is something the, the makers of the bubbles of the bubble uh, perceived as well. Um, as, especially, I feel it's very similar uh, uh, to to the James Franco movie I, I talked about several times, and which is actually my favorite, uh, uh, The Institute. You know, the the, the the 2017 James Franco movie, The Institute. A lot of people don't get that movie either. Um, in essence, that movie is a satire of Hollywood and of Hollywood cancel culture. And ironically, after right after James Franco made that movie, he was canceled. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, that that James Franco movie was was a was a, a satire of, of of Hollywood cancel culture. And you know, not not just cancel culture. Also, you know, the, um, a lot of the uh, scandals and a lot of the contro con con uh, controversies and uh, controversial things uh, going on in Hollywood. It was actually a lot about those things, and and those things you can't 
talk about directly in a Hollywood movie. Um, so James Franco uh, just sort of figured out a way to to talk about those things, but 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 not directly. So he just uh, well, his movie is all about uh, Hollywood, but in his movie he just simply he, he used a little trick. He just simply um, substituted. Uh, 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 the the um, um, well, the health industry for the film industry. So on the surface, um, his movie is about the healthcare industry, and on the surface, he's criticizing the healthcare industry. But actually, if you pay close attention, um, you know, to the dialogue and so on, you realize that. Uh, he, it's actually the other way around. He's he's actually um, criticizing the movie industry, and um, this movie, The Bubble, um, does the exact same, just the exact opposite way around. Uh, the Bubble is a satire of the healthcare industry. But since that is now a controversial topic that you can't talk about in a big budget Hollywood movie, um, they now <laughs> substituted uh, uh, um, the, the film industry for the uh, for the healthcare industry. So on the surface, it seems to be a satire of the film industry, but in actuality, it's a satire of the healthcare industry. Um, so yeah, uh, watch that movie again in, in, in that light and I think you will agree. And if you don't, uh, then, then uh, well, that's also fine, but you know, you can, you can tell me why. <laughs>